Marcus, thank you very much for the invitation here. Now, Coventry University, it, AIM is part of that, but tell me a little bit about what you actually offer to young students here. Yeah. Uh, Coventry University has a, a, a big, large research centre called the Future Transport in Cities. And under this research centre, we have five small institutes that are focusing on translational research. So the AME is our manufacturing arm. So what we do in the AME is three main things. We do skills development and we produce what we call industry-ready graduates. We also do research, industrial research, focused on high TRL and delivering solutions that will enable our partners to have products to the market. And then finally, we do support our partners with business development and growth. So the way we work with students is we have modules upstairs. So we have a, a faculty in the factory floor. We are based in a manufacturing plant. We teach them the theory upstairs. We then have all the kits downstairs where they can come and practice in a safe environment. And after having learned the, the, the theory and practiced in a safe environment, what we do is the factory behind you have plenty of uh, challenges and opportunities that we align with the student curriculum. So for every module that you do, you have a project on the shop floor where you will be interacting with the industrialists that are working in that plant. So they will be under the supervision of engineers that do that for a job and they will learn on the job. So we call it problem-based learning. It's actually forcing them to put into practice what they learn. We honestly believe that, you know, the learn at 10, do at 11 is a great approach to upskill our, our undergraduates and get them industry ready. Yeah, that's quite interesting, actually, because I think, I think uh, youngsters, uh, you know, they see engineering as m maybe a, a different version, but you look at the, the money that's been put into this facility, and I think that's really key, isn't it, is, is that young learners can actually be ready for their, their next career rather than a, maybe an apprenticeship and learn that way. Yeah. I think we, we seek to provide a unique opportunity for our, our industrial partners and for the students. And the way in which we do that is we have an industrial advisory board. So the leading companies in the industry will come to us and say, these are the new technologies that we want to implement into our businesses to deliver better productivity. What we do with that insight is we build the curriculum for the students and we build the portfolio of equipment to allow the students to learn during the, their degree what the industrialists will be using by the time they finish. So they have the opportunity here to benefit from more than 10 million pounds of equipment that we have on site. Some of the latest technologies on some of our core uh, capabilities like metrology for, for example, uh, the Alicona kit in there, 3D scanners that we have on play, in, in place. We also have the latest robotic technologies. We're dealing with cobots. We're dealing with all sorts of industry four technologies, as we, as we would call them. And as a result of that, what we see is that our undergraduates, by the time they finish, they are very well accepted into the, uh, into the industry. We actually have a 100% employment rate uh, in our undergraduate degree. And they also get the chance to work on very exciting projects. For example, one of our latest projects in the AME was a, a battery project to create a high performance battery pack that goes into Aston Martins. So the students got really excited when they see a, an Aston Martin Rapid on site and they can play and touch and see how that works and how the car goes together. And I think it's quite interesting um, talking about sort of partners. I mean, Brooker Alicona, for instance, you know, they're looking at uh, surface texture, surface finish, for, for instance. So I presume the type of um, work that you're actually putting through this facility is across the board. It's not just automotive, I presume aerospace, medical. That, that's right. So we, we, we look at using our capabilities in, in any uh, industry. We, we, we don't pre-select. Uh, we are lucky enough to be in the Midlands and to, to be on the site of an automotive manufacturing plant. Uh, but we're not restricted by any means. So we can do any work in, in surface texturing, in metrology, in automation and robotics, in digital manufacturing and, and digital visualization, simulation, you name it. Those, those techniques and capabilities are applicable in, in pretty much any industry, any field. So we, we actively look for partners with interesting challenges that we can convert into projects that will generate research and papers for us. I'm quite jealous, really. If I was 30 years younger, I'd love to be, uh, be part of this. But thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Marcus. My pleasure. Thank you.